I am Ash from Aero12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a script that will show a description when you hover the mouse over an image so just an example of what we're going to create is this so I have a picture of a tree here and in this and when I hover over over the tree and um, we get this is a tree appearing and follow following the mouse um, until I eventually move away from the tree and it doesn't show up um, so okay so if you go to Dreamweaver and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete um, all this so we can start from scratch okay so first of all in index.html we're going to get the um, the style sheet um, type is text for CSS and href is style sheet dot css okay i'm going to create a div and the id um, id is going to be hover div i'm just going to put some test text in there just to show you what it looks like test and what we're going to do now with this div is customize this div using CSS. So first, if you open up CSS, and in here, um, hover div. So this is going to be color. Um, we're going to put as FFF, which is white, um, and the background color. I'm going to put as um, 000 which is black so if I just refresh the page as you can see we get this um, now to stop the background color going um, across the width of the page and um, basically you can just put in absolute um, so it's position position absolute and um, it just wraps around how long the width of how much text is there basically um, okay so now we can move on to back to index.html um, and what we're going to do is is get the tree.gif and if I just refresh this the tree appears big so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the width to 387 and the height um, as uh, let me just see 437 so that was the height and width I had for the example that I showed you um, and on here we're going to create um, a class and this is going to be hover which we're going to use with jQuery or JavaScript and text and um, this is basically the description of what you want to be displayed so this is a tree okay so if I refresh I can see nothing happens yet um, but that's all they're ready for JavaScript to get so last thing we need to do is script type um, is equal to text forward slash javascript and the source um, we need to get jQuery.js and copy and paste that down for the um, hover and we also need to I always forget to do that end the script off there okay so now in hover.js um the hover class so dot hover um dot mouse move so when the mouse moves over it we're going to create a function here um in there and first of all we're going to get the description that you have set so this means this page dot a t t r which is attribute t 
text. So look in this page. Um, so we need a equals there. Um, so this page, so index.html, look for attribute text and get it. So attribute text, I'm going to get what's in that text attribute. Okay, um, now I'm going to change the um, hover div. I want to change the text to the description. So what we get in that to that. Okay, so as I hover over it, as you can see, this is a tree has now appeared um, where that div is. Um, okay, and it stays there for now because we've not coded anymore. So what we can do is um, in style sheet if we put in here um, display put none and then in the JavaScript file if we put dot show on there if I refresh as you can see nothing has appeared when the page loads and then as I hover over it um, it will show and that's all we've done so far so next thing we need to do is change the CSS so hover div dot CSS which is going to change this block of code here um, and we're going to create a top and that is going to be um, the location so we need to put location up there location dot client y plus 10 I'll explain what this means in a second and dot CSS um, left location dot client x plus 10 okay so basically what this means is and um, the top of the um, where the mouse is we're going to plus 10 so we're going to move the the div 10 pixels up from the top of the mouse cursor from where the point is and um, so and the same for the left we're going to move it plus 10 that way and um, to the right um, so now if I refresh um, we get that this is a tree okay now one thing that kind of doesn't work is when I move away and um, that still appears but stops where I left the image and um, so now to get rid of that uh, what we can do is come down here and put dot mouse out function hover div dot hide and um, why are we getting an error? One minute. Okay, the error was this semicolon here. We don't need that there. So get rid of that. And if I now refresh the page, there you go. Um, as you come over the image, um, that text appears and follows the mouse. And then as you leave, it disappears. So that's how to create um, a description that follows the mouse when you hover over an image. So thanks for watching and I will see you in, in another tutorial.